Okay guys, I don't really know where to even start with this video, but I did want to first apologize that it has taken this long to, for me to upload this video. There were some things out of my control that I'll explain, but um, yeah, I just first wanted to say I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to upload this explanation video. I know a lot of people have been asking questions and I hope this gives you some clarity. So in this video, I'm just going to explain and talk about my company, Harper and Willow. If you don't know, if you're new, um, in 2018, I launched a lifestyle and stationery company called Harper and Willow. It was such a dream. I was so excited. Ever since I can remember, I've loved to-do lists and planners and um, pens and I've just always loved cute little lifestyle products so to make my own products and to see you guys loving them and um, the church notes was just it was such a cool experience this video is probably going to be very messy and all over the place I feel like I have a lot to say and I feel like I might forget some things I think it was in June that I first wrote a script for this video having a script kind of made me anxious and I just felt like the most me thing to do would be to sit down and just talk from my heart and chat with you guys so I filmed a video right after we moved to Florida in July it was the same kind of thing same kind of setup and I just explained everything there was a few things that I was waiting for to be able to post that video so for example I was waiting for the website to be done and, and for the website to be back up and running before I posted the video because in the video I was explaining as if the website was already back up because I was expecting everything to be done and completed kind of soon after I filmed that but I wasn't anticipating everything to take so long to get everything back up and running and even still it's been a few months since I filmed that video and I still had it in my head that like I had to wait until everything was ready and back up for me to make this video kind of like when youtubers say like I'm working on something um, and they don't really say anything until it's all ready to be launched I had that kind of mindset with this as well the website's still not back up um, we are still waiting on a few things with the inventory and stuff like that so it's not already but I know so many of you guys asking questions and wanting an explanation so I decided to make this video so I'm filming on Monday I'm just gonna try and edit it and upload it tomorrow I kind of came to a realization that like not everything has to be perfect and set up for me to make this video once the website's back up and everything I will update you guys on my Instagram and stuff another thing I'll say is that there was a point in time uh, probably about a year where I legally couldn't speak on anything and that was really difficult because questions were coming in and I just couldn't speak about it. I just feel so bad about that period of time where so many people were asking me questions and like genuinely like when's the next launch or like what happened to the website that type of thing and I just couldn't go into it at that point in time. So then it was probably end of February or March earlier this year um, where things were kind of set in place where I was able to now come out and talk about it but at that point for the whole world COVID was really hitting and different quarantines were being put in place and even the months following after that so much was going on it didn't really feel right to make this video and to talk about it because I didn't want to seem insensitive or anything talking about this while everything else was going on and at that point we didn't know how long all of this was going to go on for or anything but I just wanted to wait a little longer to speak about it at what I thought was a better time. And then so that's when I wrote the script, filmed the first video. I know I'm explaining a lot right now, but I just thought it was necessary to explain like why I didn't talk about this in March compared to why I'm talking about it now. I guess I'll explain first of all how Harper and Willow started. So, so this would have been maybe the end of 2017 or the start of 2018, I can't exactly remember. When I started talking to my management about wanting to start a company, um, and they set me up with meetings to meet certain people um, in order to make that happen. So basically I met with people where their company is to kickstart businesses. They have a huge warehouse where they take care of design, customer service, shipping and fulfillment. Everything is kind of all under this one roof. It's all a great business and it seemed like a good fit because I was still doing my YouTube, we were doing like music stuff. I had like different projects that I still wanted to work on apart from this business. My team set me up to meet with them basically because they would take a huge load off. So I am not the only person responsible for customer service, shipping, all of that stuff. This company would take care of all of it and I would kind of oversee everything, if that makes sense. So I started a partnership with this company and it was a really cool experience. I was able to fly in a few times 
visit their warehouse, see everything that's going on and meet with them and like design launches and stuff in person. I'm so grateful for that experience that I had with them. And also I just wanna say, it was all because of you guys. I wouldn't have been able to have this opportunity if it wasn't for your support. So I just wanna thank you guys for all of the support and really allowing me to take on such cool projects like that. So with companies like this that are made to take a huge load off of you, technically, if I didn't want to be super involved or anything, I could have just approved everything and like not really had much to do with it. I sort of soon found out that I wanted it to be kind of different. I found it difficult not having full control in everything and so when you're doing a partnership like that like both of you are coming together and creating together to create this company so I don't have 100% say in everything that I want because it was also a whole company that were helping me create it. So things like specific products or how often we launch or PR gifting, custom packaging, that sort of thing, I didn't have full control over. What I've noticed about myself, even working in social media, if I'm doing a collab with a brand or anything, like a clothing collab or something, I don't wanna just pick things out and approve it. Like I want to be so involved in every single part of the process. There were other things that went into it and I just hope you understand legally, I can't go into everything. I'm just telling you what I can tell you. It was my company and I wanted to feel fully in control. Even the fact that the warehouse wasn't in California or Los Angeles, I couldn't drive to it. It's not like it was my office and I could go in every day and see what everyone's doing. I guess it got to a point where I didn't really feel like the boss of the company I kind of felt like the face of the company if that makes sense I was heavily involved in the design aspect I would spend hours on Google and Pinterest and Photoshop just trying to create my ideas and bring them to life to send to the design team so it really got to a point where I just had to sit and think pray seek advice and just figure out the best thing to do anyone's watching this any youtubers or anyone that's wanting to go into a business or into a partnership like that, my piece of advice would to be like, read your contract over and over and just fully know what it says, fully know the terms and everything because I was just so excited to bring this brand to life and create products and show you guys and have the products in your hands. That's definitely something that I have learned and that I'm taking into any future business or anything. It's very important for you to understand every single word. This is the period of time where I couldn't talk about it. So I couldn't be like, we're working out how to part ways. It was just something that had to be dealt privately. So there are a few different options that we could have gone with. It was really difficult for me because the company was doing well. So for quite a while, I thought maybe I should just stick with this, stick you know, with this partnership because you guys were loving it so much. And the last thing I wanna do is disappoint you guys. And again, I'm so sorry if I have disappointed you. This was just quite a tricky thing to go through. And I was young too. I think I was 21, 22 when we were um, planning to launch this company and I think at any age like you're going to make mistakes and you're, you're always learning and so um, this was a big learning curve for me. I just had to make what I thought was the most mature decision. So the decision that I made was to part ways with that company so that in itself was a lot. So earlier this year, I purchased all of the remaining inventory. So it is currently here in Florida with us. Purchasing it all basically just means that I own everything 100% and having it here in Florida with me was just such a peace of mind knowing that whatever I decide to do with it next, um, I am fully in control. So yeah, long, long story short, that is basically what happened. We were working through some stuff and then we decided to part ways and that was a whole long process. So I also wanted to explain that even before we started parting ways a lot of the silence from my end online started because I was trying everything I could to make it work it wouldn't make sense for me to share that online and I hope that makes sense once I realized it couldn't I was then working with the company to figure out the best way to unwind everything so a lot was happening behind the scenes that caused this period of time where I wasn't really able to update you on what was going on paying for the inventory getting the inventory shipped here and now like we are working on getting the website up. There is a lot that goes into it, but I have all the inventory. I feel like I've forgotten a lot of what I wanted to say, but that definitely kind of gives you the main idea of what happened. So yes, right now we are currently working on getting the website up. I actually should be getting an email today of like an update with where the website is at. We are making a website from scratch. I have someone who is going to do the customer service for me. So that's why I was planning on having this video go up when the website was up, because we are putting up all of the inventory that we had so 
there's church notes, there's like Christmas cards, different notebooks, there might be a few t-shirts. There's a lot that we still have. We have candles, just like we have a bunch. So I wanted to put it up on the website for you guys because I've been getting so many messages of like people wanting to place orders. But obviously we did have to take the website down because that was their website um, and then we were transitioning and now we are creating my website. But I will let you guys know when the website is up. Hopefully it's not going to take too much longer. We do still need to figure out a few more things. Everything on the website I'm going to put for 50% off. Yeah, just in case you guys wanted to go on and get any notebooks or like anything that you haven't been able to get. I wanted to put it up but it's all going to be 50% off. So if you want to go grab anything, feel free. We are actually in a Harper and Willow meeting last week and we were just going through different things that still needs to be sorted. So for example, for the boxes of inventory, there's only a barcode on the outside. So we were trying to figure out if we need to barcode every individual product, which would take a very long time, or if we can just work with the barcode on the outside of the box. So there's random things like that that we're working through, but I'm really glad that we are and it's getting close. The website's going to be back up soon. Thank you guys so much for being patient and being understanding. I'm sorry that it took so long to explain. I hope you guys understand and I'm glad that I'm finally talking about it. There were definitely some mean people, some assumptions, which you'll get. It's the internet. I totally get it because it was such a long time when I couldn't talk about it and you guys noticed like there was a bunch of launches and then the launches just stopped and I didn't say anything and that's because we were working through it. There were quite a few assumptions. Um, one was that I was just doing it for a cash grab, that I was doing it for the Money. That's so sad and I just hope that you guys know that that's not my intention for anything that I do and especially starting a company like that it was doing really well but starting a company is expensive so we were selling a lot and we were doing really well as a company but but basically all of the money that we made went back into the employees the operational expenses the inventory like all of that and so I wasn't actually making any money from it I'm currently in the negatives because of it the second thing I saw quite often was people thought that it was for my green card which I can understand because the time when we stopped doing launches was the time when I got my green card and so it kind of matched up but I just want to say that I got my green card because I'm married to Gabe I don't even know how a business would have anything to do with that I don't even know what to say about that I don't even know how that would work with a green card but I got a green card because I married an American not because I started a business I will quickly talk about what's next for the company so for a long time when we were parting ways and um, I was going through that transition it was very very difficult it was very emotional although I haven't been able to talk about it online I did have quite a bit of time to I guess process what happened and so I definitely didn't plan on starting a company and then like parting ways we all had such big plans for the company and so I guess just because it was a long process and it was a difficult process I thought that that season of my life was over but I loved owning the company even though we went through some things and I still loved having a vision and see it come to life and seeing you guys love the product so for probably the last year, I have been trying to figure out where I would want to take it. But I think what's exciting now is that Harper and Willow is fully mine and I have the control to do whatever I want with it. So I'm currently planning on what I want to do next with Harper and Willow. I have a few ideas. I was actually just sitting down a few days ago, like kind of going through what I would want to start with. And it might take some time. Like I definitely have learned a lot from the past few years. I don't want to rush into anything. I just want to make sure that what I want to do next with it is like perfect. Right now the plan is to get the website back up. Everything will be 50% off like a clearance sale. That will really be for a month or so. I'm guessing I will do a relaunch with completely new products and everything. I'm definitely going to take my time with it and I'll keep you guys updated. I feel good about it. It took a long time to feel good about it but I feel like everything is now like in the right place. I know that was a lot of information and I've still probably forgotten things. I'll probably edit this video and just realize that I forgot to say so much stuff. I did forget some stuff there were some questions about the Harper and Willow Instagram page because I archived all of the old posts I parted ways with the company and whatever happens here on out with a relaunch or whatever um, that's a fresh start and so I wanted that to be reflective on the Instagram page too I will post on there when the website is back up and then um, whenever a relaunch happens that is when the Instagram will come back to life for now I just wanted it to be a fresh start so the Instagram page is currently empty but thank you for making it this far listening to my story um, it has been such a learning experience I am so grateful for the time that I had and everything that I learned and all of the products we created. I'm still so grateful for that time that we had. Again, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for 
just being so kind and so supportive. And if any of you guys bought anything from Harper and Willow, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. That just means the world to me. I'm so grateful and I'm excited to see what happens in the future. I'm always going to be learning and it's probably going to be some mistakes that happen along the way. I think I'm going to leave it here because I'm rambling. I love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you in my next video. Why am I crying? Oh my gosh. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.